Hey guys, welcome back. How's it going? Listen, so this video is on Demon Sabnock. Um, I'm going to be sharing his incantation with you, um, basic offerings, how to get in touch with him, um, and reasons why you'd want to work with him, okay, based on his characteristics and his specific strengths and traits. Now, just off the bat, he, has, he actually resonates a lot with me because we've got a lot of similar things in common, um, Sabnock and myself. So, before I get into his incantation characteristics, guys, um, just to get it out of the way, if you like the vid, show the like, share the vid to help get the knowledge and the wisdom out there, guys. I offer spell work, uh, invocation, tarot reading, and they're all extremely personalized. Uh, we chat about your case first and we get into it. I'm also offering along with um, Santera Lucera, Indigo Priestess, a Chaos Magic course, which comes with your step-by-step -step manual and nine accompanied vids. We email the whole bang lot to you, okay? So, Demon Sabnock. Um, firstly, let me chat a bit about his characteristics, his traits, and I'll, I'll explain his incantation and his sigil thereafter, okay? So, firstly, characteristic-wise, he offers great protection, okay? Um, he offers a lot of protection, especially for those who are working with him for a long time. So, if you want to start an initial invocation with him and start to work with him, and you practice in this, so for most of the viewers on my channel anyway, He's one of the easier ones for you to get in touch with. You don't necessarily have to be a practitioner of the arts, but if you are, because it's very dear to him, he will actually work quicker and better with you. Okay, so it's not limited to just um, spell practitioners, but it is beneficial for you if you do. So he offers great protection. And one of the areas where he offers great protection, and I'm doing this for because I've had quite a few cases of this lately so i thought i'd just share it with general you know generally out there um people being suspected of being cursed or just they are out like cursed we've discovered they are and he's one of the greater ones to work with especially if you're doing it for yourself or if you want to do uh, a protection spell slash send curse back to send a type of spell with me you can request i do it with sabnock right he kind of specializes in throwing curses and nexus back to ever center upon you, okay? So in on that tone, protection, he will definitely throw curse and nexus that has been placed upon you, your home, or your family back onto sender, okay? And the way he works is very similar to his energy. Like when I spend time with him, um, not all, but but often, his, his energy is like, um, it's it, it, it subtle and low key. He works very subtle and low key. He's not going to come down booming, breaking legs and arms, right? He's very low key, very efficient, but it's, it's actually very dangerous it, once you think about the whole concept. And in that, I get it, that tingling of not I'm in danger, like I got to run for my life type of shit, but it, like his order tingles with me of danger. So I'm always alert and aware. And that's a sign also that his presence is there, which is actually a cool thing. To know so he, he brings this like order of danger with him but in a very low-key subtle way right because if you work with him for protection or to attack someone who's now deserving right one of the ways he does it is also low-key but effective meaning he attacks mainly not only but predominantly the mind the psyche so he bashes if that if this is the spell and petition nightmares psychosis depression anxiety resurfacing trauma anything with the mind he specializes in okay so keep in mind that's the type of working and, and help he can offer which is pretty damn amazing um but again especially if you're a practitioner of the art he values that okay and when you do work with him give him a lot of um, like honor and, and adoration and that's going to further enhance your workings with him okay so to get in touch with him firstly on a like an a4 page you're going to draw his, his sigil, his petition, right? On top will be the incantation, which is Tasa Sabnok Onka Lirak. Tasa Sabnok Onka Lirak. That's on top. I like to do it in bold letters. And then hand draw his sigil. Okay. And again, I've mentioned it in quite a few of my words, guys. You can, I do, especially when I'm doing the spell work. Not so much if it's just a petition. But if it's a full-on spell, which will take place after your initial invocation, add your printed sigils there if you like, by all means. But on your, uh, your petition, incantation, your sigil, and start by words of welcoming the entity into your home and your presence, okay? And give a bit of introduction. Simple offerings. 
And again, I smile for this because it's actually all things I like. And one of the part, things play two parts in it, okay? So offerings, silver. And again, don't panic. Whatever silver you put there, whether it's a bracelet or a necklace or a ring, you can remove it once your petition is done. Because at the end of the petition, right, which is three to five day working, you're going to keep everything for a few days and then discard it. The silver you can definitely take away again. That's fine. He understands. Um, the silver is there to show knowledge and understanding and respect. It's there to enhance the protection that you're probably calling on. And it's to give you the protection that you need, whether you're aware of it or not. And it resonates at a very, very high frequency for him. So add silver there, okay? Um, his two candles, both black. Scribe his name on it. If you can, try to. It's, it's, it's pretty expensive everywhere. Jasmine oil. And on your altar area, jasmine incense. If you can, uh, look, I encourage you to because I do it all the time. Um, put the fresh jasmine there. The actual plant, you buy a small one, keep it in your home. It's beautiful. Keep it there. Put the jasmine plant there for his invocation and in his power work with him. Good quality red wine. A cup of black coffee. So, before you guys ask and panic, every day you can leave the red wine if you want to. The coffee, though, I recommend for every invocation of him. Top it up with a fresh cup of black coffee, okay? And dark chocolate. So that's it. Two black candles, scribed, oiled up, the simple offerings that I just mentioned, and you start calling upon him. Left hand down, right hand up, call upon him for the incantation, start introducing yourself, start welcoming into your own presence, and just start to feel, flow with whatever you feel. And you do that for three to five days. And if you feel nothing, it doesn't mean nothing has happened. Wait a few days if you want to do it again. And thereafter, if you want to either go straight into a spell with him or you can contact someone like me. But I suggest keep it up because it, it does take a bit of time. But once you build that relationship with the guys and you feel that working and you're doing protection work or sending back to send that type of curses, he's great for that. Guys, um, so if you know anyone who needs this type of information, share the video with them. And okay, guys, um, be good.